New right now at 5, we've learned police have now charged three people in an animal cruelty investigation that we were there for when it started last year. Police found more than 90 dogs on a property in Washington County last summer. And they were diseased. They were living in terrible conditions. Channel 11's Gabriela DeLuca is live with more details on the allegations and why charges are just being filed now. Gabby? Peggy and David, the DA said they had to do investigations on each and every dog, which was a very lengthy process, as you can imagine. They also gave us a copy of this criminal complaint here, where they described the conditions as deplorable and atrocious. This is what just two of the German short-haired pointers who were rescued from a dog hoarding situation look like today. They're healthy and were adopted. But that's not the case for all of the 92 dogs that were rescued from a farm in Hopewell Township, Washington County. You may recall Channel 11 first told you about this story in 2018, but the district attorney just filed felony charges today against Charlotte, Lucy, and Emily Binakonsky. They received veterinary care and then they were placed in various um, agencies. So it took time to get a lot of the veterinary records together so that we could establish a basis for charging. Out of all of the dogs, two died and several more are still receiving medical treatment a year later. At least three of the dogs cannot go <clears throat> outside without goggles on because their eyes are so damaged from the filth. According to police, they were first notified about the situation after neighbors complained about seeing stray and dead dogs in the area. When the investigation began, they discovered some of them were diseased. Several had scars and behavioral issues. I've been doing this 13 years and it ranks up in my top five um, it was deplorable. It was uninhabitable by man or beast. The three suspects are out on bond and they have preliminary hearings in November. Reporting live in Washington County, Gabriela DeLuca, Channel 11 News.